Hey friends, how are you today? Are you having a pretty good day? Yeah? Well, if you haven't been to one of my story times before, my name is Miss Lisa. I get to do all the story times at Worthington Park Library. Right now I get to do them from a very dirty house. Yep. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite themes. This is actually usually the one that I end the spring session on. But normally our spring session would have ended like a month ago. So we're ending a little late here. We're not actually going to take a break and start into summer. We're just going to go straight through because we're only doing our weekly story times right now. So with all that big buildup, guess what my favorite theme in the spring is? We're going to be talking about farms today. I love talking about farms. Have you been to a farm before? Maybe you've gone to pick strawberries or apples, or maybe you went to see a petting zoo, or to pick a pumpkin. There's lots of fun reasons we might visit a farm. Um, so we're gonna be talking about farms a little bit today. I bet you can guess which song we're gonna sing. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so let's go ahead and I wanna remind you of a story that we already did. And since we already did it one time, we're not gonna do the whole story again. But I wanted to remind you about it. It's The Cow Loves Cookies. Do you remember reading this one? It's by Carmel Wilson. Ooh. Yep. And I don't know if you remember, but we go through what lots of different animals eat. And they all eat what animals normally eat, except the cow. The cow only loves cookies. And this has a nice rhyming text. It's lots of fun. You can point out which animals you see and ask what sounds they make. So I, oh, do you see what those are? Where are they? Those are geese. Yeah, they're prettier than the geese I usually see. Mm -hmm. So they are all getting their food, but the cow only wants cookies. And at the end, they're gonna explain why the cow likes cookies so much. But I wanted to remind you of that one because that's a fun one to read together. Um, it's a great one, especially if you're snuggled up because the rhyming text is lots of fun. You can point out all the rhymes that you're hearing. And like I said, it's a fun one to just ask questions and go back and forth. And you can try to come up with why you think the cow might like cookies the best. Uh, just because cookies are amazing, could be. Okay, let's try our next story. We're going to start with reading this tiny little one. Do you see it? It's called Hurry Hurry, and it is by Eve Bunting. And I'm sorry, it's kind of tiny. I'll try to show it close up so you can see it. Ready? Hurry, hurry. Coming, coming. What kind of animal do you see? You know what that is? Oh, a goat. Goats are lots of fun. My kids love playing with goats. Goats like attention a lot of the time. All right, let's see. Oh, ready? Ready? Who's that? I think it's probably a duck and a duckling or ducklings. Yes, yes. Oh, what are they all so excited about? Do you have any guesses? Do you think it's cookie making time on the farm? Could be. Quick, quick. I don't think cows are usually super quick. And then it says, can't, can't. <laughs> the baby cows really aren't very quick. No. <gasps> try, try. What do you think they're in a hurry for? This is a lot of buildup. Go, go. Good, good. There's lots of babies. What are these? They're baby sheep or lambs. Good job. <gasps> faster, faster. Oh, the dog's trying to make them go faster. That's a sheep dog. Run, run. Who's that? I know, I love pig noises. Ready, you wanna do some? Ready? <laughs> I know, any excuse to do a pig noise. All right, and oh, it says hurry, hurry. What are they waiting for? What did they all gather around to see? Shh. What is it? Can you tell? Welcome, 
welcome, welcome. Hello, little one. All right. One of the fun ways you could read that would be that you could read the first word and have the kid repeat it so that you are reading the full text that way. All right, you did a wonderful job with that story. I hope you liked it. I know it was a little small, but I hope you could see all the pictures really well. It was um, from Houghton Mifflin Press. Um, and let's see, I was thinking we should go ahead and do a song that might be about a farmer. Can you think of what song it might be? Old MacDonald, are you ready? What animal should we start with? Let's start with chickens, because we just read a book about chickens. You ready? Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm, let's be chickens, he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O, with a buck buck here and a buck buck there, here a buck, there a buck, everywhere a buck buck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. What animal should we do next? Hmm, what other ones could we act out? Hmm. I don't know if I could do a good cow impression or a good horse impression sitting down. Let's see. What about if we do a chick? I know we just did a chicken, but we could do a chick, chick. Cheep, cheep. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a chick, E-I-E-I-O. With a cheep, cheep here and a cheep, cheep there. Here a cheep, there a cheep, everywhere a cheep, cheep. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job. You can add in whatever animals you want to do. You can pause me and just keep singing it all by yourself. That would be absolutely fine. I'm going to keep on going. If you think of some good ones with sound, uh, with motions you could do, you should put them in the comments because I got real stuck there, didn't I? All right, let's do our next story. We're going to do one where we're, oh, let's see. I got all off on my list. Oh, we're going to do one of my kids' favorites. Are you ready? Oh, this was my son's favorite book for a really long time and it is by one of my favorite baby book authors Sandra Boynton and this one is Moo Ba La 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 and I have read it so many times that I have it very well memorized are you ready a cow says what's a cow say moo a sheep says ba Three singing pigs say, la, la, la. No, no, you say, that isn't right. The pigs say, oink, all day and night. Rhinoceroses snort and snuff, and little dogs go, ruff, ruff, ruff. But some other dogs go, bow, wow, wow. And cats and kittens say, meow. Quack, says the duck. The horse says, Nay. It's quiet now. What do you say? Hmm. What is a sound that you make a lot? I've noticed I say all right a lot. And um. Editing your own videos is hard. What do you say a lot? What about I love you? Do you say I love you a lot? You should. What about, thank you. That's a good thing to say a lot too. I love Mooba La La La. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let's go ahead and do a slightly longer story that is also a song. And I'm gonna try to play the song for you. We'll see how well it works. And I'm gonna show you the pages, but I'm not gonna sing along because I want you just to be able to hear him, okay? This is called Driving My Tractor. And it is by Jan Dobbins and David Sim. And it's going to be sung by a man named Steve. Let's see. And this book is from one of my favorite publishers, Barefoot Books. I really like, they have a lot of diverse styles of art. And I really enjoy that. Are you ready? Driving my tractor. Heavy load. There's a black and white cow going moo moo moo. 
see the cow. Do you see the dog? We change seasons. Do you know this part yet? Chug, chug, clank, clank, to chug, chug, clank, clank, to It's a very busy day. Sing along whenever you get it. Pretty the grand. Do you see them? One, two, three. <gasps> Chug, chug, clank, clank, to chug, chug, clank, clank, to It's a very busy day. Good job. Ooh, that's a lot in the trailer. <gasps> it is a busy day. Chug, clank, clank, to chug, chug. Clank, clank, to chug, chug, clank, clank, to it's a very busy day. What do you think we're going to have now? One, two, three, four, five? Good animals, huh? Chug, chug, clank, clank, to It's a very busy day. Phew. All right. Great job with that one. What did you think? Did you like that version? You know what? That book reminds me of another book that I love to do in story time and normally I sing it it's called Old Manhattan has some farms and I love it because it has a lot of different kinds of urban farming that you can do so it talks about beehives and compost like we talked about a lot of weeks ago and it has some fun ideas like that and guess what if you have a library account with Worthington Libraries you can find it on Hoopla and it's Old, Mac Old Manhattan had some farms. It's lots of fun. It's to the tune of Old McDonald. So I wanted to make sure I told you about that. If you need any help getting onto Hoopla, send us a message at the library. We'd be happy to answer questions about that. All right, you did a great job with that story. Let's try another story. Oh, let's see, what do I have over here? Oh, I know. What's this one? Pika Moo. Are you ready? Oh, and it's by Marie Torres Simarusti. She has a whole series of these, and they're all very cute. Are you ready? An oink, a moo, a cockadoodle doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peekaboo? Guess who? Who is that? Pika moo says the cow. Did you guess cow? That's a pretty easy one, huh? You got this. Guess who? Pika. What do you think? Oink! Says the pig. Guess who? Pika. Squeak! Says the mouse. Guess who? Who is that? Pika. Woo! Woo! Says the owl. 
Guess who? Pika. Says Rooster. Guess who? What do you think? Pika. Ma! Says the sheep. Guess who? Pika. Quack! Says the duck. Guess who? What do you say? You don't have to be a baby to play peekaboo. We love playing peekaboo. Mm -hmm. What's it say? Pika. Boo! All right, let's see. Let's talk about some of the stuff you can try at home this week. Are you ready? Okay, I was thinking at home, it might be a nice chance again to try baking something together. So you can make cookies like in the Cow Loves Cookies. Um, I have gotten a sourdough starter and I'm one of those people who's very into my sourdough bread. So we've been having lots of fun making bread at our house. I have been really enjoying baking with my kids during this time because it's a fantastic time to introduce fractions and a lot of other math concepts. It's a great way to talk about following directions, reading what's coming next for your slightly older kids, um, just counting with your slightly younger kids. So if it says three quarter cups, get out a quarter cup and then have them help you count to three, putting that in with your littler ones they can help with mixing they can help with a lot of stuff in the kitchen my kids have some safety knives and they've been working on their cutting skills too so there's lots of fun ways to get in the kitchen all together and there are so many fantastic skills that we develop when we work together on baking or even making dinner all right so that was one of my ideas is that you can try cooking at home a little bit more together let's see i was also thinking it might be really fun to make a play-doh farm with uh, if you have any toy animals you can roll out some play-doh if you don't have a rolling pin that you can use you can find anything really that's long and would work um, at the library we always do it with the paper towel rolls your paper towel rolls at your house might not be hard enough to do it but I think it's worth a try because your Play-Doh is probably softer than our gluten-free Play-Doh too. So you can try rolling it out to be the ground. I would probably do green, but if you feel like doing brown for the pigs or whatever you want to do. If you want to have a pink farm, I'm not going to tell you no. So you can roll it on out and then you can use popsicle sticks to build fences to, or barns or whatever you want to build. Um, whenever we include popsicle sticks rollers, things like that. I'm amazed at how much longer kids will play with Play-Doh. And did you know, here I come again with my wanting you to use your writing muscles. Did you know that when we play with Play-Doh, we help develop those writing muscles so they get even stronger and more ready for when it's time to start writing a lot. So when we say that we want you to read, write, talk, sing, play every day, that's what we mean by writing. I want you building those muscles, developing the core strength to be able to write for a long time later on. I don't mean that you have to trace your letters. Just keep working on building those muscles and doing it through play. It's way more fun for everybody. All right, so you can make a Play-Doh farm with your animals. Send a picture to the library. We'd love to see your farms. That would be so much fun. All right, I was also thinking now I'm outing myself. This is one of my favorite secrets. Not really. I usually tell people about it. Inspired Treehouse has a blog and it's fantastic. It's from occupational therapists and physical therapists that are moms and they have some wonderful ideas of fun play ways to build all of those muscles like we were just talking about. So one of my favorite things to do during farm week, and I am so sad to not be able to do this with you, is that we set up a fake cow and we milk a pretend cow. We make a cow udder out of a glove and we put, you could put real milk in it at home if you want. I usually put in um, water with a tiny little bit of flour to thicken it up a little bit. And then you can work on using those writing muscles and pulling down and trying to milk a cow. If you're doing it outside, you can just stick some water in it and let them just spray it everywhere. It would be fun. 
All right, so you can find instructions for that on the Inspired Treehouse. I didn't want to go into the whole thing here, but it is lots of fun. It's always one of our favorite activities, especially if you get a bucket, try to see how long it takes you to fill up the bucket and things like that. Lots of fun. Okay, um, I thought you could also try listening to Driving My Tractor. I think you can find it online. Um, and I know a chicken is available online from Lori Berkner. So if you have some shaky eggs, or if you want to make some shaky eggs, uh, you can use, if you have any plastic eggs left over or hanging around your house, you can put some beans in there, tape the outside, and that makes a great shaker or some rice works really well too. So you can make some shaky eggs and do I Know a Chicken, lots of fun. And um, that old Manhattan book that I told you about is would be fun to watch, okay? All right, I think that's everything I have for you today. I hope that you have a fantastic week. I miss seeing you, but I really hope you're enjoying the story times this way. I will talk to you soon. Bye, friends.